So today we're going to talk about some of the different ways to invest in real estate. So let's take a look at the first six. So this is part one of a two part series where we're going to look at 12 different ways to invest in real estate. Now there's certainly more than 12 ways. It's not an all inclusive list, but it's a good list to get you started and thinking of ways that might work for you. So in this first video, I want to look at six of the ways to invest in real estate that deal more exclusively with rental property. This is rental property investing, just some different strategies and ways to approach it. So one method of real estate investing is simply the traditional approach. Now I call it this, but if you were to find a rental property, find a property that you wanted to be a rental property, whether you found it or your real estate agent found it for you, and you went to the bank to get financing on it. Since it is an investment property, they would require likely 20% down. Most banks would require a 20% down payment. And so with this strategy, this way to invest, you would simply save up for a 20% down payment, buy a property and rent it out. And then you just save up your money for the next property, put 20% down and rent it out. This is the traditional approach and many people invest in real estate this way. The next method I'm going to simply call the Dave Ramsey method. Um, if you've heard of Dave Ramsey, he is a big advocate against having debt. And so if you called into Dave Ramsey's show and asked him and said, Hey Dave, I want to buy a rental property. How do I go about doing this? No question. He's going to tell you save up until you can pay cash for a rental property. Now this strategy is not as popular because it's a lot slower to save up that amount of money, but it certainly can be done. So this is a method to consider, the Dave Ramsey approach. Another awesome method for investing in real estate is called house hacking. And this is where you could buy a duplex, a triplex, or a quadruplex and rent out the other units. You live in one unit and you rent out the other and you can get you know, traditional financing on this if it's four units or less. So with this method, you can oftentimes lower your mortgage um, with the cash flow you're taking in, sometimes even live for free. Or if you're lucky and you, you know, are a savvy investor, you can even make money by just living in your house and renting out the other units. This can also be done in a regular house. I know people who have rented out a room in their house. They've rented out their basement. They've rented out their attic to help cover their mortgage payment. So that's another way to house hack. So another method of investing in real estate is called the nomad strategy. I call it the nomad strategy because nomads move from place to place. So with this strategy, if you were to use it to its maximum potential, you would buy a house with traditional financing. You would then satisfy the loan requirements for either living in the house. Typically it's a year, maybe two years, but you would have to look at your mortgage documents um, to be sure on that in your particular case. So you live there long enough to satisfy the requirements and then you move, you buy another house with traditional financing and you rent out the original house and you can just keep repeating this process. I've read of people that have done this 10 times, 10 plus times. They built an entire real estate portfolio with the nomad strategy. You can also do this strategy on a smaller scale and most people do, they do this strategy. They buy a house, they live in it, and they decide to move, but they don't want to sell their house, so they rent their original house out. Even if you do it one time, you are participating in the nomad strategy. Another method of investing in real estate is by using seller financing. So this involves you finding an owner of a home that wants to sell their home. And instead of you getting traditional financing through a bank, you allow the owner to finance the property for you. Traditionally, you could you know, put down a certain amount of money and agree to a certain um, amount of money paid every month you know, for a certain amount of time. And the, the great thing about this is that you can negotiate, you can, if you don't have a lot of money to put down, enough money you know, for a 20% down payment, the owner might work with you on that. If you don't have you know, good enough credit or you don't have um, the finances available to get a mortgage, this is a great option for you getting started. It's by using seller financing. 
The last method of real estate investing that I want to cover in this video is called the Burr Method. That stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. This is the method of real estate investing that Cameron and I personally use to invest in real estate. It's great because it allows you to recycle your money from house to house because you buy a distressed property, oftentimes that would not qualify for traditional financing. You buy it at a low price, you rehab it, you rent it out, and then you're able to refinance it. And hopefully, if you do it right, pull your money out of the deal and move on to the next house. It's a great option. I did a video talking about it more in depth. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it above. So check that out. So these are the first six methods of real estate investing that I wanted to cover. I consider these more like strategies for traditional rental property investing. So if you're interested in owning rental properties, definitely take a look at these strategies. If you're not interested in owning rental properties, Stay tuned for the next video, part two. We'll look at some other ways to invest in real estate. Thank you so much for watching this video, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.